This is a guided meditation for feeling your difficult emotions, for taking you through them. It's a guided art and poetry experience to really help you accept, to love your emotions, to love all of them, to hold space for all of them without rejecting them, without calling them negative. There are no such thing as positive and negative emotions. There's only easy and difficult emotions. So I'm going to read a poem, two poems of mine, that are love letters to these difficult emotions. And then I'm going to take you through my paintings to help you really hold space for them, as well as chant the sound ah from my indigenous Buddhist culture and take you through a guided awareness practice from the same culture. So start by looking at this painting. Look at the simplicity of this, the openness of this painting. And then become aware of your own open simplicity, the open awareness that you are. And become aware of the awareness itself. And then become aware of the sensations in your body. And then become aware of the openness above your crown. And now chant the sound, ah. 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 Listen to these two poems of mine as you open up to this particular emotion. This is called a love letter to anger. I love you, anger. You free me from my negative patterns. You set me free. You love me more than any other emotion I've ever known. You care about my well-being the most. You care about the well-being of the world. You are destructive, but only when suppressed and misunderstood. You are destructive in the right way, towards the right prison gates when embraced. You are my torpedo that charges through my prison gates. You are my bold lockpick that picks my bolts in just the right way. You are my saber that cuts through my camouflage. You are my fire that burns down my hut, revealing my mansion. You are my portal that protects me from unwelcome penetration. You are my laser that protects my deepest value. You are my octane fuel that powers my rocket ship. Into the new world, I love you, yours gratefully, your beloved trembling co-creator. And now use that anger and bring all your other emotions into it. Anger is that middle emotion that's like a rocket ship that can really have the power to actually dissipate all your other emotions. Use that anger as power, as fuel to hold space for all the other emotions. And make the sound ah again. Ah, 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 ah. And now, listen to another poem of mine. called a love letter to difficult emotions. Guilt. Thank you for letting me know when I have violated my own values or when my actions are disconnected from my own empathy. Shame. 
Thank you for letting me know with how bad it feels to believe in lies about myself so that I can release those lies. Fear. Thank you for giving me the power to finally stop running away from myself. And finally face the most difficult parts of myself. Anger, thank you for the enormous energy you provide me to see through BS and bullying so that I can skyrocket out of the prison of my own internalized repression from systemic oppression for reminding me of my own boundaries. And for your reminder of what I was born for and the beauty I'm willing to die for. You are the deepest, most effective, powerful, beautiful reminder of my deepest truth, my deepest freedom. And finally, sadness. Thank you for your soothing waters that allow me to let go of fear, sadness, shame, guilt, and anger when they have served their purpose. I see the gift in, of truth in each one of you, in gratitude, respect, and in awe of truth. Now that you see the value of each emotion, feel them in your body, if you're feeling it, and then become aware of a deeper stillness beneath it all and surrounding it as well, while still honoring these emotions. And then become aware of the openness above your crown again. And let the openness, the open stillness in your body reflect that while still holding space for these emotions. But instead of you being inside these emotions now, like under a microscope being trapped inside them, come above that microscope and watch the emotions. And then become aware of the, the room that you're in, that now you're not inside the emotions, but you're outside it. It's now like a dust, a speck of dust in a vast room. A vast, open, boundless space, actually. And then become aware of the openness above your crown again, and chant the sound, ah. 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 And now ask each emotion, what is the message they have for you? You're ready for that now that you're feeling open. And then embrace that message. Now that you're feeling a little bit more open than you were before. Even feeling a little bit more open than you were before is progress. Thank you so much. Have a great day.